Haul out day has arrived. We've got that dodger as well to get painted and put in situ onto the boats. As you can see, they then go through meticulously. Right, Ton? Look good. So, haul out day has arrived here in Krabi, oh joy of joys. Um, this is the first time that we are going to be hauling out using a travel lift since, we reckon, since the Maldives and that was 2013. So one or two things we have to do with Esper when we use a travel lift. Because the backstay and the topping lift um, are like that, we have to bring them down because otherwise they would hit the crossbar. So we've got to take the boom down and remove both of those. The other thing we have to do is we have to put the dinghy in the water because Ricardo is going to help guide Esper into the slip because we have to reverse in. And if anyone else out there has got an Oyster 435, they'll know that they don't like going backwards. So we always just need a little bit of help, a little bit of gentle help with the dinghy. So, haul out it is. Here we are on the hard and it's a very nice view. We've got the mountains of Krabby in the far distance there. The usual noises as you can hear behind me over there, someone revving something, probably one of those strimmer things. So it's, uh, it's a typical day in a boatyard. Lots of noises and Liz and I have got to sit down now and we've got to work out the order of events of things we have to do on the hard. So just off the top of my head, we've got the fuel tank to fix. Uh, we've got possibly the cutlass bearing to replace once more with a decent cutlass bearing, but that does mean buying it. We've got to talk to Ricardo about the order of the painting. And uh, we've got that dodger as well to get painted and put in situ onto the boat so the stainless guys can finish that off. Uh, what else have we got to do, Liz? Rigging. And of course the rigging, how can I forget the rigging? So we've been talking to Jai about uh, the various different options we have and uh, we think we've found a solution. Problem that we have of course is money, budget and spreading costs. So somewhere we've got to find money to pay Ricardo for the painting and Jai for the rigging among other things. So anyway we're going to sit down, finish our coffee, have a little chat and take it from there. So this morning is all about getting ourselves comfortable on the hard and making lists. So you can see here lists of major jobs, some of which we'll do on the hard, but some we can do at sea. And these include uh, sorting out that 
fuel tank leak. Uh, the saloon hatch is leaking. Uh, we've got to fix the mizzen spotlight. Uh, the starter battery is flat and not charging. We've got the water maker filter to put back in place. Uh, port light seals, so we've got some new seals for our port lights. This stanchion base here is loose and I think that's probably because it's the side that we come up on. So as you can see there's lots of things to do. So this morning is just about making those lists. Going to see the stores in the marina to make sure that uh, they have all the pieces that we need to fix these things and if they haven't we have to order them. And so it goes on. One AC unit installed. Quite important on the hard, it gets very hot and so this keeps things a little bit cooler which is great because when you're working on the boat and pulling things apart there's nothing worse than doing it in the blazing heat and now we, I thought I'd crack on with just this job today. This is the stanchion base uh, which you can't really see, it is here. So of course it means taking off part of the ceiling. So I'll get Liz just to sit up on deck with a crosshead screwdriver to hold the, the um, screw in place whilst we tighten it from underneath. And this is a little trick that I learnt when we were refitting the boat is that when you do through deck fittings, uh, you should tighten from underneath and keep the, uh, the bolt in place from above with the screwdriver. So let's do that now. Well, that was a bit of a slag trying to get that up in there. There's another third nut right in there. Very difficult to get to, but anyway, we've done it. So that's one job ticked off the list. Hurrah! You can see the weather's starting to come in. This is the transitional after all. Getting uh, wind and rain from different directions at the moment. Now we are literally just parked up, only 50 meters away from our Dodger. And I heard a compressor running, as you can see there, which means the guys are getting ready to paint our Dodger. I have to say, even before it's even painted, it's looking pretty good. The lines on it are excellent. The guys have done a really good job of getting these curves true. It all looks pretty even. It's exciting stuff. back to the boat and a special guest turns up. This is Ton. He's not currently working at the moment. Tui's got a job somewhere else in the yard and uh, he's just come to inspect his handiwork. And we both pointed and laughed at that. I'm kind of hoping that what he's spraying is quick drying. It's going to have to be because that's going to be above us in about 10 minutes. Right on. Look good. It's another beautiful, glorious morning here in the transitional. So, of course, we will be expecting rain in the afternoons, as what normally happens. And uh, this morning I've just popped back over to see the painters. Now the paint they were putting on yesterday I found out afterwards was a high build and I should have known that 
from our previous experience at uh, PSS. But essentially it's a kind of barrier coat, stroke undercoat that the guys put on before they start applying the Allcraft, which is the paint that we will be using as the top coat. So he put one coat on yesterday and the idea is, is that they then sand it back and as you can see they then go through meticulously touching up every single square millimetre for imperfections. And as I zoom in here you can see these tiny little spots here barely the, uh, the width of my finger. Just little spots that they've filled in and bear in mind this is after their first coat. So they sand these back and then tomorrow they'll be putting on a second coat of high build. Well, I don't know about you, but I get very anxious when we get hauled out. Yeah, I get anxious about hauling out, but also actually being on the hard and having to go up and down that bloody ladder <laughs> yeah. all the time. But you notice that I asked to be put right by the toilet. So, oh, uh, I much appreciate that. <laughs> we are you. as close to the toilets as you can get. Of course, that's one of the issues with being on the hard is having to get up and down for the loo. But this has to be the cleanest, tidiest hard stand we've ever been on. Yeah, it's really clean and it's also spacious. We're not rammed against each other like mm. we have been in some places, but the cleanliness is amazing. Lou's there, and just over there out of the picture, a swimming pool that we tend to use every night. Ah, oh, wonderful, and great showers. Yes, yes, so the facilities here are great, so it's a good place to be hauled out. Yeah. Uh, but let's talk more importantly about that Dodger. What do you yeah. reckon? Um, it's looking better than I ever imagined mm. it would look. Can't mm. believe it. Those painters, are, you know, they work hard, they work fast. Yeah. Obviously it's a slow process because they can only do one coat at a time. If they use filler, they have to wait for that to dry before they fill it. But what amazes me is how they always manage to do the spray painting before <laughs> it rains. I know. I mean, the, you know, the cloud that you saw in that clip actually it didn't rain no so i think these guys are monitoring the weather forecast more frequently than we do as sailors yeah, yeah. they're very good they're very good it looks it just looks stunning um yeah so looking forward to the next stage yeah the next stage i think is the ne next uh, uh high build and then they start actually painting it proper and we're going to see that glossy finish at some point yeah at some point okay Okay, if you follow us on YouTube, that is brilliant and thank you so much for doing that. But if you didn't already know, we have a website, a blog, it's www.followtheboat.com and it's been going longer than I've known you. It has, that's how Follow the Boat started and in fact what happened was we, we were putting lots of entries on our blog for many years and then when we started doing video it kind of we neglected it a little yeah. so for the last couple of months last three months or so Liz has been hard at work and we're now putting out uh, content on that blog uh, not just the stuff that you see in our YouTube videos but extra articles as well yes yeah, so I'm getting out three or four a week they include these videos but also I talk a little bit more about the videos so there's a few things in there which may not actually be in the episode and then two or three other pieces about perhaps what we're doing now, right now in real time. And I've just done a piece about what we've done in the, you know, a few years ago. And we're also running a refit series, the end of which will culminate in the total breakdown on costs. So if you're not already a subscriber, do subscribe to the blog, it's completely free. And uh, yeah, have a look and see what we're doing there. Yeah, and by the way, that's the refit that we did four years yeah, ago. Yeah, We've yeah, finally yeah. got around to putting it on the blog yeah. proper. Yeah, it is on there in bits, but this is a nice condensed that, 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 that series, putting it all together, so. Hmm, there we go. Right, it's baking hot. We're sweating. We are sweating buckets. Have you noticed we look like the Blues Brothers? We sort of both went for a blue theme today, <laughs> but it, it's super hot, so I think it's time to uh, mop my brow. Yeah, I need to get inside. <laughs> and say thank you very much for watching As and you, you know the the score um, subscribe please do subscribe to the channel a lot of people watch our channel that aren't subscribers but please do and uh, hit that like button and as always we love hearing and reading your comments we do and if you share it helps get the word out there and we're very close to 30,000 subscribers so let's see if we can do it over the next week <laughs> yeah right come on I'm too hot now okay it's time to say Peace and fair winds. 
Ready? Are you recording? Are you recording? Getting out of here.